from this area to Mbale, where um, little aroma here could have treatment. Later that day, the elders invited us to see the ritual. They'd prepared a feast of millet flour and soya, which they offered to the evil spirit they believed Oroma had brought to the village. In return, they asked for health and prosperity. I guess you could see this in the same way as you might see lots of alternative therapies. This is traditionally what people in the villages have done. It's just such a shame for me that they haven't spent the money they spent on this ritual on, uh, on taking her to hospital first. In a small proportion of cases, children can survive untreated into late childhood. We heard there was an older boy in a nearby village living with hydrocephalus. I'm Jenny, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, hello. When 13-year-old Ojok started showing the signs of hydrocephalus at four months, his mother, Filda, took him to the local hospital. The doctor said there was nothing they could do for him. Ojok has been suffering seizures. His mother says she's very worried because often he will fall unconscious unexpectedly on the floor. And seizures are a well-known complication for children with hydrocephalus. The seizures mean Ojok can't go to school. Last year, he was seriously burned after collapsing into a boiling stove. Tell me, Ojok, what's it like being different from other children? Why do you play alone? You know that the people who do that are doing it because they don't understand that you're, you've been ill and that's the reason why you're different. Ojok was outcast from his community and dependent on his mother for survival. Those who aren't killed by hydrocephalus still have their lives destroyed by it. We returned to the Cure Hospital just as Kazimiri came out of his second surgery. In intensive care, the nurse explained they'd finally managed to treat Kazimiri, but only by inserting a plastic valve into his head. <laughs> Are you all right, Loy? I think you're incredibly brave. Loy won't know the extent of any permanent brain damage until Casimir is older. His tube will need to be replaced with further surgery as he grows. Getting him to hospital once had already bankrupted her family, but Loy had decided to fight for Casimiri's life, whatever the cost. We heard Sarah was recovering well. Hello. We went to see her at home in her village, an hour's drive from the hospital. How are you? How, are you? How are you? I'm very well. Hello. 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 Sarah had been home for five days. Her brothers and sisters were glad to have her back. How are you? Do you think she's better? Yeah, she's now better. The neck is not going oh, so that? hard like this. Mm -hmm. She's now coming like this. The second thing, the eyes, you see. If you put, she can now identify him. She's focusing. Yeah, she's now focusing, don't you see? Uh -huh. She's even laughing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the neighbors had already noticed the difference. People of this village, they were thinking that Sarah is going to be a lame person. Mm. But now they are also having some hope mm -hmm. that she's not going to be a lame. My feeling is that if Sarah really gets cured properly, she will be somebody who that can go to school, maybe walk and by her own self, rather than pushing her to school when she's lame. 
But even when she waked up today, I saw that she was a bit okay. And uh, I felt very good. <laughs> With better neonatal care, most hydrocephalus cases could be prevented in Uganda. And if more neurosurgeons were trained, more children could be treated early. I don't think baby Sarah here knows how lucky she is, how lucky she was to get the surgery as early as she did, and also to have a father who really wants to support her and do whatever he can to give her a normal life. Oh, there is dancing today in the house of Dalo. Oh, there is dancing today in the house of Dalo. There is dancing today. In the house of the Lord, the Lord. Oh, there is clapping today in the house of the Lord. Oh, there is clapping today in the house of the Lord. There is clapping today in the house of the Lord.